Welcome back to the channel, you guys. We have a really exciting haul today because not only do we have the Vital, but we have new camo, which are Gymshark's most popular collections. So I actually wanna start something new this year. I wanna try it out for you guys. We actually did this for the last Gymshark launch with the Flex and Energy. Sometimes Gymshark launches two big collections at the same time or within the same similar proximity. So I thought it'd be fun to pin collections against each other because I wanna give a little more quality to the videos and help you guys out, especially if it's your first time purchasing from Gymshark. So I'm gonna call these the versus videos. Drop a comment if you find this format helpful. And if you do, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sending these pieces out my way. So like I said, Vital already launched camo release date TBC. I know, you guys are asking up a storm and there's no release date just yet. But as of today, Saturday, February what, 12th? <laughs> just two days after the Vital launch and everything's in full stock on the US website. So definitely hit it up if you see something you like in today's video. And since these Vitals have already released, I will have a QR code as I try things on in case you wanna shop from your television. Let's do a little scanneroo. So let's first start off with the beautiful color palette that we have here. Let's start with Vital, okay? We have teal, purple, orange, charcoal gray, and black. I actually got this question on Instagram stories about their black. Is it a true black or is it kind of like almost a really, really, really dark gray? Truth is when you put it in natural light, like I compared it against the flex, you will see that the vital black is actually a couple shades lighter than a true black. And that's because it's just that it's a marl. So you have a breakup of color. In case you're wondering, this is the Vital 2.0, not the OG Vital. I get a lot of questions about that. I don't know if they're coming out with OG Vital ever again, but we actually have a new addition to the Vital Seamless family. Those loose fit shorts, it's exactly the regular Vital shorts, but with a loose fit on top. There is a slight difference though, we'll get into later. As far as the new camo colors, only two launching. We got the burgundy and a green. The burgundy is hot right now. I feel like everybody and their grandma is talking about the burgundy set. Raise your hand if you're looking to get that burgundy set. The green has a lot of like a yellow tone in it. So I feel like, I mean, I'm just seeing split pea soup right now. I don't know, anybody else? So you can expect these two new colors coming in. Sports bras, leggings, shorts, and long sleeve, those four pieces, baby. And I know what you're probably gonna ask me. Is it gonna be coming in the ruched sports bra too or just the crisscross? Just the crisscross. I don't know what happened with the ruched, <laughs> but it ain't launching in this collection. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into some comparing. I'm gonna start with the sports bras. So overall, the vital set, I have to say, leggings and sports bras are both super lightweight compared to the camo. For the camo, a lot more dense, heavier, just thicker material overall. I think for durability's sake, like this is what I would feel like. This is gonna hold up and just wreck it at the gym. But if you really love that lightweight feel, like a feather, vital seamless. Both are pretty much racer back. Now this camo has a very intricate backing, a lot of strappy action, non-adjustable. Vital's the same way, non-adjustable, but more of a straightforward, simple racer back. The front, is where it's most different. You have that really beautiful crisscross. Oh, that crossover front that I'm wearing right now. Like my girls, my girls are there. I just feel like I got some sick, mean cleavage in the camo <laughs> bra that I just don't get in the vital. Now granted, not everybody's just trying to show out with cleavage like me. So if you're not, and you just want a regular sports bra, then you might want to opt for the Vital. They're both moderate support, but I definitely feel, believe it or not, more support in the camo bra. I don't know what it does, but it presses my girls in, and I feel like I could just, look, they ain't even moving. With the lightweight Vital, I just feel like they might shift around a little bit more. So keep that in mind. They both have removable bra pads in them and nice thick straps. So you really can't go wrong with either one. I think it's just your preference. Like, plus you really gotta love the camel print, period. Like there's a lot of print going on. Whereas the Vital is, is just loaded with solids with that very minimal dotted contoured look. I think if you're somebody who's concerned with like bulging and things around here, you might wanna opt out for something lighter like the Vital. This one's, like I said, a little more compressive, a little tighter of a fit. So I feel like you might be able to see a little more of the cinching going around in certain areas with this bra. 
which I do think if you're working out or just in general wearing this for a long period of time, I think comfort level, I think the Vital will be a lot more comfortable wearing for hours on end. Whereas the camo after a while, you might just kind of be like, let's compare some leggings. All right, straight up off the bat. If you want a thicker legging, say you live in a cooler area, say it's winter time. You need to be a little bit warm on your way to the gym. I would definitely suggest the camo. It's just a thicker material, a little more insulating. I think if you live in a hotter area or it's summertime, this is a great summertime legging because it's so lightweight, especially that Vital 2.0. Once they switched the 2.0, it got to be a little bit of a thinner material. I know that there's some mixed opinions about the Vital 2.0. I know a ton of you are always like, dude, like I miss the OG Vital and I feel you. I really, really loved the material of the Vital OG. But I do have to say with the 2.0, it really did fix that annoying band gape. So I feel like the band just works so much better with this type of material. Because let's face it, the OG Vital had some of the worst band gape. <laughs> <laughs> you can't deny that, really. So in terms of compression, I would say the Vital has slightly more compression. They're both like a moderate type of compression on me, but I'm feeling more compressed, especially in the tummy area with the Vital. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and say that everything fits everyone differently. This is just how I'm feeling in these sets, according to my measurements and things like that. I personally would think to conceal sweat, you might wanna opt for the camo. The pattern is super helpful in just disguising the sweat. And I do think because the camo comes in a lot more just darker colors in general, I think it would just help you in that department. Whereas the Vital, even though it's a lot more like lighter and breathable, I do think that with the light color options they have, you might see sweat, depending on how much you sweat, a lot more. If squat proof is a big deal for you, I'm gonna go ahead and say you might wanna opt in to get the camo. I really haven't had a camo seamless legging that wasn't squat proof on me, at least like almost 100% because of the thick material. The Vital, however, and I know I'm gonna get questions about these colors here. Yeah, they're not, they're not squat proof. <laughs> We got like a range of 70 to like 85% in these light colors at best. So you're gonna see a little something something in the light colors again. Now, if this is a big deal to you, camo might resolve that problem. If you just want a legging that's just a cute color, a staple solid, very subtle contour, and you don't care if there's a little bit of sheerness, vital. Or if you're doing upper body day, like, hello. You already know if you watch my channel, camo's my number one everything, right? Like, you know, like, nine out of 10 times, this is what I'm wearing to the gym, no matter what. This is my leg day every day. <laughs> There's a big reason for that, and it's because of the scrunch bomb. Yes, I know what we're thinking, like, is it a little outdated, that scrunch? Maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe. I do have to say that that scrunch bomb still does a little something something for my ass. The Vital Leggings, they have the raised seam contour, so at least there's some booty breakup, but it's not to me, it just doesn't do what the camo does. Like I feel like my glutes look spot on when it comes to camo. Vital, they look good, but they ain't camo. If you're a shorty like myself, camo, a little bit shorter by a couple inches. So just throwing that in there. And as you guys can see right here, I have it listed out the material difference, the band similarities, differences, you name it. Camo shorts are most definitely shorter. Camo's a little too short for me sometimes. Like I, if I'm gonna wear one at the gym, it might be vital just because I, I need a little bit of length. In all honesty, my favorite type of shorts are biker shorts. The camo shorts, unlike the leggings, they do not have a scrunch bum. Instead, they took the ruching from the behind and moved it to the sides here. So you have a little cinching on the side to add a little more like a, of a higher look. So I think this is really good for a leg day if you really love to wear short, shorter shorts. The Vital, a little bit longer. I do have to say they do dig a little bit. They're not uncomfortable and I haven't worn them and be, been itching under there. Like it's not like an annoying cinch, but because I'm so insecure with my thighs, I, it's just, it's one of those things I've always been so insecure with. Like that's the one thing that I'm just like, mm. With that being said, like both of these kind of cinch in a little bit. I would say, that this does a little more cinching, believe it or not, than the camo. I do think out of the two, if a roll up is a concern, I would probably say the camo rolls up slightly more than the vital. I think overall softness, they're kind of the same. I would give camo a little more softness in texture. And last but not least, let's compare some long sleeves. 
Did that rhyme? No, it didn't. So here's what we're looking at. All right, right off the bat, I prefer Vital Long Sleeve than Camo. I know, crazy, right? I prefer Camo everything else, but when it comes to Long Sleeve, the Vital is the one I opt in for. And let me tell you why. The lightweight feel of the Vital Long Sleeve. I love that thin, lightweight feel. It's so stretchy, and it's just something I want over me to warm up in. The camo's a little bit too thick for me, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of gets me mad after a while, <laughs> where I'm just like, get off my body. They added the little ruching in the toddy area, kind of cinch it in to give you a little bit of curvature around the boobies. The Vital is shorter, so it's gonna show a little more of your tummy and rib cage, whereas the camo sits a little bit lower, so it has a more coverage. Just wanna point out the backing as well. If you're thinking about the camo long sleeve, keep in mind there's a giant keyhole in the back. It's gonna be playing a little bit of peekaboo action on you, so make sure you wear a really cute bra underneath. Vital backing is completely just solid and plain, nothing to say here. Same type of neckline, and they also both have thumb holes, which I love. But yeah, man, I like to move around and work out in this and stretch around, and this is just a lot more stretchy for me, believe it or not. Like, I just feel like I can move 10 times better in the Vital. I've always felt this way. I've always said this about the Vital long sleeves. If there's any Gymshark long sleeve crop tops that I really just swear by, it's the Vital. So it is that time, the moment you've all been waiting for. We're trying on those new Loose Fit Vital shorts. Yes, we are. So the Vital Loose Fit shorts, I think it's a really cool addition that Gymshark made, especially for gals like me. Like, I'm not gonna actually wear this alone to the gym, but the Loose Fit shorts, yes, I will. I do like a little more coverage, a little more looseness around here. The tight shorts, it's for some, it's not for some. I think the overall design is beautiful because you can see the overlay here is that waterfall design. So it's higher on the sides by an inch or two, and then it kind of cascades down to cover a little bit more on the inner thigh. I think the band on this is a little bit more compressive than the actual standard vital seamless shorts. I said that in my stories too, and I'm gonna still stick with it. I'm feeling a little more compression here. The vital shorts that you see here are the exact same shorts as what's underneath here, as the lining. Like I said, minus the band difference. I'm feeling a little more compression here, guys. So if you really truly love the Vital Seamless shorts, I think that you would love this too, if you prefer a little bit of a mixture look, you wanna go for a little loose one day. This top layer has that signature Vital look. They didn't go skimp, you can still tell it's the Vital. It has that dotted contour. I got so many questions on these shorts on Instagram. The truth is, this top layer is not the same material as the bottom layer here. This is a very light, feather light, thin overlay. I think that if you're in between sizes, I would size up because I do think it's a little compressive. I would naturally size up in the shorts as it is because Again, the cinching around the thighs here. You may experience this being a little more of a baggy look if you do size up, so keep that in mind. But me personally, if I'm in between, I'm sizing up in these, okay? I think that this is a great addition to the Vital Seamless family, I really do. But girl, tell me something right here, right now between you and me. How dope would these flowy shorts be in the camo collection? Hint, hint, Gymshark. I can't even tell you how many DMs I got about you gals being so pissed that this purple didn't come in the regular shorts. <laughs> I know, I know, it came in the orange and the blue, right? But you don't have regular shorts in the purple. And everyone's like, but why? And the truth is, I don't know. No, don't do it. Y'all really thought I was about to do that. I would never disrespect. I would never disrespect the shark like that. I'm sure you guys already saw all the colors on me through the overlap, but real quick, so I don't bore the shit out of you, I'm just gonna give you some of my very, very, very prized mix and matches from this haul. So while we're on the topic of the two-in-one shorts, this was Bay's mix. He picked this mix for you guys. I think that you can totally mix Vital and Camo. The Vital is right on the border of being subtle enough to pair with a bold, pattern. The contouring of the Vital is just delicate enough to not clash with the heavy print. So yeah, okay, I can see this one, Bay. My favorite combination to date 
right here, these two vital colors, blue and orange, they're meant to be. I feel like a New York Met, New York Nick. I feel like these are the ultimate summertime colors in one outfit. How can you not be happy looking at this combo? I can't lie to you guys. I'm obviously like all for this burgundy. This color? <laughs> um, it's not my favorite camo color in the world, I do think that it looks good as a mix rather than a full set of this color. Just saying, that's me. I feel like, like I said before, just this color reminds me of split pea soup, maybe even a little sneeze. But please do not let my own ideas and preferences influence you in any way. If you like this color, run with it. I can't get too caught up in the spring colors because it's still the dead of winter. So this is a bit of a winter mix here. We got that deep dark burgundy, that staple black. But I'm sorry, like I'm still, into the brights so much. Like, get this off of me right now. I wanna see this purple more. This purple, dude, like, it's a vibrant pastel. It's like a lilac, but on steroids. And I'm really glad they came out with the loose fits in the stable black color. This way, you can mix every single thing, and it's a win. Guys, I was just about to turn my camera off and wrap this baby up, but then I saw these two colors laying next to each other, and I said, I think this is a sign from the gods that this has to just be seen right now. What do we think? This was not planned. This is my first time trying on this mix. I feel like a summer fruit salad. You got some cantaloupe on top. You got a honeydew on the bottom, okay? This combo is making me love this color camo a lot more now. It's as simple as that. All right, guys, so those were some mixes. I hope you enjoyed some a little bit of uh, the Jim Shark inspo. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Again, please. By all means, I rack my brain with these videos, trying to make sure I cover everything. Sometimes I do not. So if I missed anything, comment down below. And if you like the little mix and match segment at the end of the videos, let me know and I'll try to do these as much as possible. Definitely stay posted on Instagram stories because the second we have a camo release date, you're gonna know about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will catch you in my next video.